Hey, 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 it's W5HRO. Well, I got this thing, uh, I got the, uh, the relay all mounted. I haven't put the, uh, the plastic cover on it yet. I just kind of wanted to make sure it was working. It grounds, it grounds the end of that resistor and the capacitor, that, that, uh, what is it, that 0.1 capacitor, is that a point, well, yeah, it was a point 0.1 mic capacitor to ground uh, when it's not, when the thing's not transmitting. So that grounds the end of that, one end of the uh, negative peak limiter where the voltage feeds into it. So anyway, I've been playing around with it and it's just, uh, let me uh, go get the microphone here. Front panels are dirty, I gotta clean. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna polish these panels here before too long, probably this summer. I'm going to probably just put something down around the transmitter and try to polish them the best I can while they're still on the transmitter. I mean, I should, I really don't want to pull the meters out. I might, I got a little small polishing thing. I think I can get around there without doing anything, without hurting it. So, uh, anyway, but, uh, here, uh, and I have the, my, still my same original tube that I've used all the years, the one that I think's weak now. So there's the, uh, See that relay down there is clicking, so when I click, now I haven't clicked the voltmeter on it yet, but I'm, it was working before, but see now, now when I, uh, there's a, uh, you know, I'm not transmitting, there's, there's no current anywhere, and see before, I was getting, uh, uh, maybe 25 mils, 30 mils on, on the plate, on the, well, it's actually cathode current, I was getting just a tiny bit of current on this, and when I would spot the transmitter, of course, both meters would come up, play and screen along with the grid, and I'd get like five watts out. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping here, but I'd get like five watts out of the thing. So uh, the problem is my power's still down. I think this tube, now that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to change tubes. See there, that's under, that's like 175 watts. The power is really dropped on this thing. Look, the plate current is way down. So, uh, and let's see, there's the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the regulator tubes are lit up and then when I modulate, they dim down. They're not dimming down as much. It's because I'm having to load it heavy to get the, the power up. And I'm actually on the 160 meter, uh, loading position. So I'm going to back that off, re readjust it, which will drop the power about 20 watts, 25 watts or so from where it is now. And then I'm going to change tubes. And I did get my Amperexes in, my 4400As right there. This one here in this box is that 3-5, that iMac 3-500, I'm sorry, 3 dash. what am I talking about? It's that uh, iMac 3, uh, iMac 4-400C uh, is what it is. It's the carbon one. It's the heftier one. So why am I still transmitting? Let me turn the mic off here. <laughs> Let off the PTT. But that's a that's a that's an iMac new old stock still in the box, uh, 4-400C. And then there's the box for that other one I've got out in the garage, that other carbon graphite tube that I, I I'm going to verify if that's still bad or if that is bad or not. But now I've got these two brand new Amperexes. I just got these today. These came from South America. The guy shipped them FedEx and they're, he, he had opened one of them to take the pictures to put on, uh, for the advertisement and the other box was still sealed. So I opened the other box, which still had the paperwork on top. They're both, they've never been used. So. I'm going to plug one of those in too and try it. And I've got that 4400A out in the garage, that other, that pullout iMac that I've got. So I think I'm going to start with that one and then just quickly see what happens. I want to see if there's any change in the power output. If not, then there's something else going on. But it looks like it's stabilized now, but I'm only getting like 175 watts. And what was happening last last weekend before I, right before last weekend, last Thursday or Friday, I was going to get on the air and get on 75 and call CQ and see if I couldn't work somebody. And what happened was uh, I, I the power the power was up to about 200 watts when I first loaded it up. And then when I came in here about an hour later, it dropped down to 175. It looks like this thing started out at 175. So maybe it's just that too, but I'm not going to know until I change it. So that's all for now. And uh, let me, uh, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and splice it to this video. So this will all be the same video. So just in a blink of an eye, I'll be back. That was a blink of an eye. Now, 
took me, I had to wait for the whole thing to cool down. Plus I, you know, I waited, I discharged everything. I have a big heavy alligator clip. I go from that, that lug down to the, the metal go onto the plate cap. But there's that iMac 4-400A. Now, take a look at this. Look at where the plate current is. Well, that's the cathode current. That's beautiful. Look at that. 300, I've got almost 400 watts, man. That's every bit of the 380 watts that tube is supposed to do. <laughs> it was the tube all this time. I guess what happened is that other tube is bad, though. I sh I'm sure I shorted out that other CG. That's why I'm so mad. But this tube I've been using, when I swapped it out for the other tube, I must have uh, weakened it after I took it, you know, I took it out and put it back in the box and put this original one back in. Between that time, I must have, after all that, I must have weakened this tube because I did a lot of work and I had a problem with my antenna. If you, some people may remember, I had a shorted choke on my antenna input out there on the vertical. And it took me a long time to figure that out. So I probably damaged this tube. So that's what it is. So anyway, let me uh, button this thing. Uh, I'm going to try these other tubes and uh, see what they do. And uh, I'm not going to add that to the video. I might. I'll see, I'll see what happens. So uh, I'll probably just go ahead and do another video later if I'm going to do that. But right now I got this thing working. So I want to play around with the loading and see how I can get this thing uh this thing's putting out, oh God, this thing will do more than the legal limit now. So that's why I got to load, turn the load down to make sure that carrier is about 3, 325 with the amount of modulation this thing will do. Hey, it's W5HRO. I decided to add this to this video. I, I kind of cut, cut this off because I'd signed off on the end of the last part I was adding to this video. And I decided that I better show this. Check it out. Look where my screen current is. Well, that's, ca I mean, I'm sorry, plate current, but it's actually cathode current. So you had the grid, the control grid current and the screen current. That's why it's higher. Check it out, though. I'm getting a little over 400 watts out with slightly over 2,000 volts on this tube, on that 4-400A uh, iMac pullout. Now check out the modulation. Oh, my God. Yay! Yay! That's going past 2,000 watts. Oh my God. I had a bad tube in this thing for the past two years and I didn't realize it. So now I've got some new Amprexes and I got an IMAX C and I got, sp I got tubes now. So, and I was watching this thing, that plate's just barely glowing. So now my plate transformer has the proper secondary cur current on it. And now the negative limiter is working like gangbusters. Let me show you something here. I turn the audio level down just slightly. This, this screen current is kind of, it moves around because those regulator tubes have to warm up first. So I'm going to uh, play with that a little bit more. But this tube, you know, after maybe this thing stays on for a long time, maybe that'll stabilize. But there, there's the uh, Keep Alive supply voltage I'm clipped on on this meter. And I'm getting just under 400 volts going in the, into that resistor. And that's that soft limit resistor. And the other end of it's tied to the first diode that goes to the negative limiter. The three diode limiter, my modified design, which solves all the problems. So this thing is now the real ultra-modulated setup. <laughs> I had to show this. Yay! And see when I modulate. Yay! It only drops down to like about 350 or so. 350 volts on that Keep Alive supply. Going into the uh, that soft limit resistor. So hey, this thing's... Uh, this thing's this thing's better than legal limit now, so I'm gonna dial, I'm gonna shine up these panels now, and I'm gonna 
Go ahead and take some Windex to them. I'm gonna get a soft rag because these things have got fingerprints. I haven't cleaned this thing. There's spots from where I've, my sweat sprayed or my spit and stuff. And I'm gonna clean this thing all up and I'm gonna push it back against the wall. I'm gonna use it later tonight on the air. 73 is this is W5HRO.